Hello, Monsters of Bound here, and welcome back to Stellaris Megacorp and the Floating Turtle Jellyfish PLC. Last time, the Xanamai got to... I can't... Do they declare war? It's defensive war. Yes, so, the Shrek Kingdom... Not the Shrek Kingdom. Who are these guys? Oh, they're the Weevils. Authoritarian Weevils. Oh. Well... We're currently at war with... Basically, the Shrek Kingdom and the Alliance of Gurzana have sort of having a bit of an alliance going on and that could cause us problems especially in the long run so I the Shrek Kingdom has also managed to consume most of the citizen commonwealth of the Opurai Jukal and those some of these guys are the birds that came to live on our planets so we've got Widbrawl Prime here it's an agricultural world and the main population here are the Yisravana who come from this citizen commonwealth place so they fled the Shrek Kingdom to arrive here. So I reckon that, you know, if that if they're if they're part of our fleets, and I don't suppose there's any reason why they wouldn't be, they probably want revenge. So we're gonna help our little fox friends because at one point the fox friends gave me money and I kinda liked that. It had a big effect on me. Especially because I had a criminal enterprise that was melting their children's faces. So we, we go, we're going to go and help the fox friends. So, because of that, we've got a fleet on its way. Well, it's going to be on its way in a minute. It's on its way now. It's on its way. There we go. It's going to take... Hmm. Just, just a couple of years to get there. But that's that's fine. We're in no rush. Well, let's say we're in no rush. And... I've also been trying to decide what to... So, Pythria Prime, we definitely want you to be building shit and alloys isn't too bad consumer goods could do I and mean, consumer goods isn't too bad at the moment i'm wondering if we go for another alloy factory here let's do that let's do that i kind of like that we do have the portal research area here that's giving us some, i think it's giving us a small amount of dark matter yes it is Small amount of dark matter there. We've got some crystal for us here as well. So we do have one exotic gas refine. Well, we could actually build a crystal thing, couldn't we? Um, alloys would help us in the coming war. Okay, well, I'll leave it at that for a moment. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Minerals we're doing very well with, so I'm not massively concerned about that i played is our mining and sort of semi-farm world so that's okay what's the special location here what do we oh we have the odd factory right so that's producing alloys for us that's good um but we've got some jobs so some some clerks there that we don't actually have filled those jobs so we'll worry too much about that and then bagugi prime is i'm tempted to get some more generators here Currently making 118 energy. I mean, that's quite a chunk, isn't it? That is quite a chunk. We do actually have two civilian fabric. I, th I think I might keep those. Um, we've got a lot of jobs that aren't being worked. They are all clerk jobs, though, so not a massive issue for me. I'm tempted to actually... We do have some... We've got exotic gas. I'm tempted to upgrade the research labs to get more research for us. You know what? I'm going to do that. Because I'm, I'm not too worried about our growth here we'll get there eventually with uh is yeah so ba basically we just need more people we're just waiting for more people we've encouraged growth everywhere complete. good good thanks encourage growth yes encourage growth yes encourage growth yes good population growth is getting there we've got have we got robots everywhere we don't have robots on pythria prime but then that's not going to be a yeah okay so that's fine we've got robots here so they're being built there but googie prime i mean we could do robots here potentially i could get rid of this hmm clerks do provide amenities so i might stick with that for the moment what we could actually do is distribute luxury goods. That would increase amenities and immigration pool. Um, oh, screw it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That should help our stability a little bit, I'm hoping. There we go, 55%. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, let's use some of our consumer goods, but to be honest, I think consumer goods are fine. I think we're fine. I think that's okay. And we're just heading over to help our little foxy friends who are, well, 
Looks like they are actually taking a chunk out of the How are... Jeez, they've got a 3k... Oh, hello, what's this? That's a 2.5k. God, wait, so what's this? This is... Right, so this is your main fleet. It's 3k. I mean, that's quite... That's quite beefy, isn't it? If we go over to help them, I think we'll be... I think it'll be, be fine. I mean, we are... What's this strength of fleet? Upscaling complete. Where does it say here? Oh, it doesn't. They're 2.4. Upscaling so it looks like complete. They're chasing. Is there going to be a fight in a minute? Where are you going? You're heading south. You guys are... You're continuing on. If we can... Okay, tradition. Good. We're... Oh, well. Now, I do want the administrative cap increase. I also want the pop growth. New colony start with one additional pop. Nah. Starbase influence cost 10%. Nah. Starbase upkeep. Basically, both of these are pretty, pretty crap. So I guess... I would like the pop growth. I think at the moment, additional pop growth. So let's go for colonization fever. Colonization fever seems to have gripped the populace. The enthusiasm and patriotic fervor draws additional population to new colonies. Whore. Oh. Feels a bit rubbish now that, I mean, because before, one pop, I mean, size 25 planet, one pop was, you know, quite a sizable percent. But now you can literally have hundreds of pops. So is one pop, I mean, if it was like five pops, so Research it got you halfway actualized. or like reduce the, um, maybe if it took off the 50, or maybe reduce the penalty for being a colony to 25% or something, maybe that would be better. Ooh, advanced destroyer hulls. It is rare. Let's get the rare tech. Uh, what did we actually research? It wasn't pay oh, just more, just more engineering research. I mean, I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh no, that's the wrong button. There we go. Right, got that. Okay, so we aren't working clerk jobs. Yes, that is going to reduce. I mean, at least we've got lots of jobs here at the moment. So. That should... Have you actually arrived, or are you arriving somewhere else? You're arriving somewhere else. Where are they going? There again. I d they're not, not my planet. Do not care. I, I strongly do not care. I, I would like to settle this. This world has some mining districts on it. and it's, it's probably got the most mining districts of any planet that we can potentially settle at this point in time. So I'm thinking... That could be a good shout, because currently we're sort of our maximum of... We don't have any more mining districts. We could. I mean, I could build more mining districts here, but I'm probably not going to. Um, I played as full. So I'm thinking, maybe do that. Obviously, we've got farming districts here. Uh, that's good. So we've got the robots working. That's all good. That's all fine. Um this we've actually got some crime here which is nice are they shifting around their governors again is that what they're doing i suspect that is could we get is our peace finished with these guys i think it has so could we get another we could okay i'm doing it screw you one eyes uh what do i like what i like more crime. Smuggler posts. That sound... Oh, underground clubs. Just produces energy. Energy is... I mean, it, uh, it could be nice. Minerals, I'm not too, not too bothered about. Uh, alloy factories. Well... I do like research, though. Let's go research. We'll do that. And... I think let's get a smuggler's post. Just because that increases crime a bit more. So we're going to do that get those. Why has my consumer goods just dropped negative? Oh. Because I built that and so they're all turning it into research. Okay, yeah. 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 Okay. Fine. Let's upgrade that then. Get more consumer goods and there is not many amenities here. Uh, could Upscaling upgrade complete. this. Who's using all the amenities? Jesus. 
Is it because... No, it does increase it by 10%, but it's not that much. What's this? Non-aggression. Okay, sure. What's this? Oh, they're doing that. That's fine. Uh, oh, I could just... Slave optimal Slave output increase. Mineral increase. Fernuni ruling. Yeah, we we want you. I think we're gonna we're just gonna elect you because you seem like the best. Okay, amenities here is fine. Amenities here is bad. Here is okay. Bad, theoretically. I wonder if there's like another species on here that didn't like living in Arctic world. But no, they actually literally no problem. Okay, what increases amenities? So I know you guys do. Um, I know the holo theatres do. Hmm. Anything that does clerk jobs does. Oh, we've got some very unhappy floating turtle jellyfish on this planet. They're not happy. So could I guess we could do that, but there's no it's, Um Hmm. Hmm. I think it's going to make it worse as well if we upgrade that because it means we're going to pull clerks away. Let's upgrade the holo theatre. We do have the gas flat, don't we? Yes, we do. Good. Good. That's good. I mean, basically, we just need to increase our pop. That's what we're doing. That's what we're working on. I have noticed the AI does tend to, pop, to like colonize a crap ton of planets. People have said that they notice that the um, AI pops grow quite slowly, and I'm thinking that it's probably something to do with the fact they're just colonizing everything, and so immigration is spread really thin, rather than being focused on a planet. That would be my suspicion. I haven't actually tested that theory out. Can we actually see the population here? Um... It's not getting everything. It's 3.85 a month. I don't know if they're moving them somewhere or doing what. I don't. Someone insulted me. The galaxy is not your personal garbage disposal unit, floating turtle jellyfish PLC. Keep your so called products to yourselves. Well, that's rude. Really rude. Some of that garbage is our best stuff. Um, I wasn't paying attention to what was going on up here. Right, your fleet's kind of like just mooching around. Can we just go and. Clear up behind them. I can't see where their fleet is. Is that a problem? It's probably fine. Uh, faction found the Bagugin superiority block floating around. The Z right, so most of our people are very unhappy. Indirect. Right, we can change that. Species wide slavery. Is that such a bad thing? I mean, we're not enslaving entire species, are we? What, the robots? We can't do anything about that. They're robots. They're literally just robots. I mean, the only thing we could do is, like, basically exterminate them. We just slightly... It's just a little bit of slavery. Come on! Uh, that are not holding another job. Could be temporary employed as servants. Okay. So is that... Okay, increased resource. Okay, so that increases resource by 10%. That doesn't. Um, well, we can, because I don't really care. What is it? Indirect. Right, let's take a passive stance. I think we've, I think we've got, I think we're just doing passive anyway, aren't we? Yeah, we can always change it back later if we, if we fancy it. Let's go to policies. Let's go to... Uh, native, no. Passive study. Right, that should cheer them up a bit. Author authoritarian coalition is never going to be happy because the strata, I mean, basically robots cause us a lot of problems. Okay, these, these guys are slightly happier now. They've got 50% approval. Uh, 30% technology, they like, that's good. These guys, oh god, factions. I think the problem with factions, it's sometimes difficult to know 
why someone's unhappy. I, th I think the authoritarian faction, I think this, this is definitely a bug. So the Stratified Society, we're definitely a Stratified Society. I think it's robots, basically. I think they haven't been... I haven't. don't think they've had the... There's been so many changes. I don't think the, 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 the it's been linked together yet. I don't think the... the ro <laughs> what am I saying? I don't think that the fact that robots are have a probably a new setting which is servitude does not link up with a stratified society and so therefore it's not technically true despite the fact that it is so that's just the game not really understanding the link between the two um i mean it's not a huge problem but it does mean that our planets are a little bit unhappier which is a bit of a bit of a problem it's not the end of the world this is not great though Hyper Entertainment should help. Research actualized. I hope. X-ray laser, nice. Uh, don't need disruptor. Research station output. Maybe hyperdrive. Oh, we do it. We, yeah, hyperdrive two would probably be quite nice. Let's get that. We're going to start taking some of these systems because these guys are jumping all over the place. And oh, what's going on here? Oh, are they in battle with the station? Yeah, what's the station strength? 1.3k. Oh, they should be able to batter through that fairly easily, I think. But we can lend them some support here, and hopefully that will then sort of help them out. I hope. Competitive station engaged. Yeah, that doesn't look... It's just, it's just outposts. And we should be able to blast them pretty quickly. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. And we can just sort of go from, from system to system, capturing everything. It looks like the enemy fleet is coming up behind them. I don't quite know if this is the right option for them, to be honest. I don't... New contact, the Jubarun Theocracy. Hello, squidgy tentacle face people. Yeah, okay, that's nice to meet you. Where are you? You are over there. That's where I thought there was another empire down there somewhere, and there was. Okay, let's start taking some of these systems. Um, currently, we're taking more attrition than they are. Oh, wait, are they met in... I hope the fleet has... They're really just not paying any attention, are they? Oh, hello. Looks like they're coming back to fight me. Um, do I want... Let's see if we can lure them into a fight that they won't like. I think that's probably... If we can lure them to join... They might not... Tell you what, we're gonna... We're gonna, head, we're gonna meet them head on. We're gonna meet them head on, and we're gonna fight them. It's gonna be close. Can we see what their ships are like? So they've got point defense. For some reason, the, the ship designer really seems to have a real thing for point defense at the moment, which is really going to make it struggle. Um, they do have small plasma throwers. So that's more armor damage, less shield damage. So it's quite a nice mix, because that does more shield damage. But they've only got the rank 2. Whereas I think we are carrying something a little bit more feisty, yeah. So we've got the rank 3 small lasers and the medium null void beam. So I think we should be able to win this fairly easily. And we're just going to we're just going to wait for them. We're just going to wait for them. And we're going to take them on.
I'm honestly a bit surprised how badly we lost that, considering that... I mean... They had a lot of point defence, which is garbage. I guess they did have a lot of lasers. I mean, still. Really? And they only had level armor. I mean, maybe our defenses aren't good. And still, what are they? Not militarists or anything, are they? Well, they do have more ship fire rate, but still, holy balls! We lost that fight quite badly. Okay, we do have some tech to unlock though. So let's get a command matrix. I'm thinking maybe the command matrix. Let's do that. Are these guys now superior? Yes, their fleet. Well, their fleet power is superior. They've got worse technology than us. Okay, that was a bit of a. Well, I, I thought we we're pretty much going to win that one. Oh dear, what's this? If it's, they don't like us anymore. Why don't you like me anymore? Is there any particular reason? Uh, criminal syndicate, authoritarian tyrant, slavery. I mean, we, we we've been through this. You've got trust though. But it's only just enough to probably keep you from murdering us. Okay, good. Good. Fun. Fun. Let's get more gun batteries here, because I feel like I need that. Uh, listening post would be quite nice. Yeah, let's get a listening post. And defences, let's upgrade those. Over here. Um, again, I think a listening post would be good. Let's upgrade these as well. Make sure they're all as upgraded as possible. Okay, well that didn't really help our cause any. Although I guess I gave them a bit of a, a bit of a bloody nose. So just waiting for my fleet to return back to space dock. Limp back. Bloody useless. Honestly, I'm shocked. I, I thought we'd be I thought we'd do a lot better than that. That was surprising to me. Hmm. Maybe it's just a sheer I mean I did have a cruiser, which is going to beef up my fleet power. Maybe we just didn't have enough small guns to take out the, the number of enemy corvettes, potentially. There's anything I think of, because our tech was better. Better tech, better firepower, better defences as far as I'm aware. A foreign federation has consolidated. Uh, okay. The Mirish Union and the Tyrian Commonwealth. So these guys over here. Hello. Oh, the mushrooms hello bring greetings blah 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 yeah hello that's uh lovely to meet you lovely to meet you okay how are we doing here right amenities is good here amenities is it's okay here uh we do need more pops though that's a thing pithria yeah i just I just need more people everywhere. I mean, here's not too bad. Pithria is okay. Uh, here, it would be nice if we had more people. To be honest, here it would be nice if we had more people because then I could upgrade my alloy buildings. Oh, has my fleet? My Research fleet has actualized. arrived back. I mean, we didn't actually lose much, but I feel like, I mean, the cruiser. When our defences are better, maybe we just couldn't get through their shields. Hmm. 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 Uh, let's upgrade them as well. What tech do we get? Hyperdrive 2. Yes. Oh, we could get wormhole. Do we have any wormholes? I don't think... We've got, we got an L-gate over there. I don't think there's any wormholes, though. Nope, no wormholes. So, do I need wormhole travel? Nah, not really. Colony development speed, maybe cold fusion, mm, advanced combat rolls. That's that sounds pretty good. So let's do that. We'll upgrade our fleet. Oh dear. Commonwealth and the Reavers. These guys. I mean, these guys are quite strong. Uh, I'd be interested to know who's actually... I mean, mind you, you don't have many planets, do you? So, yeah, you're at war with both the... 
those guys and those guys. So who, oh, these guys, the Hive. Oof, yeah, you're eating into their territory. You are at war with these guys as well. I, if your fleets are all the way over there, I suspect you're going to lose a lot of space. I think that you might have bitten off more than you can chew there. I think that's not going to go very well for you. Oh, we have a Sandy Prime. Ah, uh, what do we want here? So what we got, we got research. Okay, could do with more energy. I mean, more energy would be good, right? More energy or more more consumer goods a, micro, a hidden microwave factory sounds pretty good doesn't it or do I just want to make more money I mean plus 25% isn't huge is it we could produce more from just having the underground clubs underground bagoogian strip club so let's have an underground bagoogian strip club let's do that just because that idea amuses me greatly. Okay, we still got plenty. I mean, clerk jobs. Yeah, they're, they're, it's nice to have them, but it's not super useful. Clerk jobs probably the last That's thing you want worked because it only increases trade value, which does increase energy. So that is good, but overall, you know, take it or leave it. It does increase amenities as well, so there is a good reason to have some of it. I, yeah, mm, okay, okay, let's... What I would like is maybe more... I've only got 58 unity. I could maybe do with more of it. We do have the precinct houses. We do have a little bit of crime here, so maybe I do want precinct houses, just to cut that down. Um, they also will increase unity. I could do some... I could do the same for the corporate culture site. Trade value and society research. Two manager jobs, which I think are ruler jobs, so that will consume quite a chunk of trade of um, consumer goods. To be honest, ships upscaled. Thank you. To be honest, on this planet, I, I I just really wanted to be an industrial world, so I'm thinking maybe just go for another alloy factory. Let's do something like that. And here I. I'm tempted to get another research lab. Oh, do we have people not working here? What's our, f our food's actually okay. Amenities, on the other hand, not so good. Slave processing facility? I think some of our population is slaves, isn't it? Yes, lots of slave farmers. So, let's get a slave processing facility. Hmm, actually, I mean, you're not very happy, are you? Okay, let's get um, hollow theatres I guess on the other hand if I do get a corporate culture site so rulers obviously are going to be happier than any other pop especially in an authoritarian faction yeah there's currently 72 but they've only got 30% of the political power because there's only 3 of them compared to 28 specialists so if I actually increase the number of managers on this planet then that should swing everyone should be a little bit happier or rather the more important people will be happier and there'll be more of them compared to the specialists who are less happy i think that sort of makes a kind of sense sort of maybe i'm not too bothered about the observation post factions i don't really care about in general Military fleets, important star bases. Yeah, we'll keep that. Uh, branch offices is good to know. I mean, do we have any other? What about this planet over here? There's 32 of them. Yeah, we could. Oh, let's establish a branch office here. And let's build some illicit research labs because that's going to give us more research. And also Ships piss off the one eyes a bit. And frankly, that's all I really care about at this point in time. It's just basically making their life more miserable in comparison to mine. Where are the fo the foxes doing? Okay, did we did we win that war? Did we win that war? Did we lose it? I think I think they maybe they just pieced out because I can't see that anything happened. Yeah, they do have peace. 
I don't think I should be paying more attention. I was too busy. I was too busy. Plastial armor does sound pretty good. Star Fortress, but I think the advanced corvette hulls. Because although evasion is very important for corvettes, upscaling complete. Um, it is nice to have the hull points just in case they get hit, and hopefully don't explode in one shot. Okay, more alloys coming in. That's good. We've now got 22 alloys. That feels pretty good. So, our population, we should have... Are they not... I thought managers would be... They're more specialists. Okay, well... You are producing... Six unity. And four society research. And I was looking for more more unity to be honest 43 months ah i do need more upscaling complete I need more pop growth that's what i need i need more pop growth to grow my little floating turtle jellyfish to pump them up set them out into the world to watch them then i don't know bump into something sharp and then just fly off pop and just fly off into the distance but i just could use more of them i mean the birds are fairly happy Executives. I could use more executives. I'll tell you what I do like is the um, Byz Byzantine bureaucracy civic, which basically gives you. Oh, of course, we can't get it because we're a mega corp. Uh, basically, gives you a new building called I think it's like administration or something, and that gives you two more managers. And I feel that's quite strong for a for an authoritarian. Um, species because it make it can make your empire quite top heavy or at least more top heavy and then of course political power is slightly more increased in the in the ruler's favor and all that kind of good stuff uh, is there anything we can I, I wonder if maybe the upgrade for this creates managers or something I don't know interesting if true Okay, well, we won that war, apparently, or at least we didn't lose it, I guess, which is fine. What's the strength of these guys? I should probably build up my fleet and take them on. Let's build more ships and hopefully get the strength we can to take on... What are these mining robots? Oh, they're crystals. They're crystals, so they don't have shields, do they? They're literally just all armor. So I could probably retool my fleet just to deal with them. Do we have any more of them? I think that's just that one little blob, isn't it? Upscaling complete. And hopefully if we can get... Because um, currently our Empire size is 108, administration cap is 50. So we're a little bit over, which is increasing our um, technology costs and tradition costs quite a bit. So if we can drop that down again. That would be nice. We've actually got max money. So I'll tell you what, I'll go to the galactic market and buy... What don't what don't we have a lot of? Could buy some just some gas, just something like that. Just buy gas. I'm wondering. I mean, I what I don't know about the galactic market is. I think I, d I don't know if it's like is the AI buying stuff or not? Is there a total amount or because it looks like the the buy price is decreasing and the sell price is decreasing as well I don't know quite so if I were to right so if I buy it, it right so yes that makes sort of sense but I don't know if this is because of what the AI is doing whether it's buying resources and selling them or whether it's just sort of automated that you buy something and then it ticks down or up depending on. So that's, I don't know if it's going to go up. That's just decreasing. What about like minerals or something? Is that going, let's see, none of these are moving. So maybe it's just set. Oh no, it is moving. So I guess they are buying stuff. Because alloys are quite expensive to buy, which I guess would make sense if you were like rebuilding ships and fleets and stuff. 
So I don't know. More research required there, I guess, because I haven't really been paying much attention to it. I did notice during one campaign that when the, um, the Scourge turned up, the alloy prices, the sell price increased quite a bit. So I assumed it was because the AI was losing fleets and rebuilding them and buying alloys from the market. But then I second guessed myself and thought maybe it wasn't that. Maybe it's just like automated just to make it look like stuff is going on and it's not really behind the scene i don't know but um, i have to keep a little bit more of an eye on it but uh, that's all the time we've got for this episode so we potentially won a war i went i wasn't paying attention and um just building up our infrastructure we just need more balloons really just need more bagoogians need more angry floating turtle jellyfish and potentially birds and potentially birds but otherwise resources doing quite well could do with more research and just getting that um empire size down a bit would be would be good or rather increasing the cap so that's what we're currently working on uh, but that's going to wait until next time so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode